In this tutorial, you'll learn about how to use the Tools Toolbar in PaintShop Pro. I'll show you where to locate the toolbar, how to access it in different workspaces, and how to customize the Tools Toolbar to your liking. You'll also learn where to get additional tips on how to use each tool. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I have PaintShop Pro opened up in the complete workspace. The Tools Toolbar is located on the left-hand side of the screen. The Tools Toolbar will look different depending on which workspace you are in. You can switch workspace modes by going to File, Workspace, and selecting the workspace of your choice. If you are using the Photography Workspace, a simplified version of the Tools Toolbar will be located here at the bottom of the screen. This is a touch-friendly workspace that makes editing easy for beginners. The Simplified Tools Toolbar here includes the most popular corrections and enhancements. However, if you want to access all the tools, you'll need to use the complete workspace. If you're using the Essentials workspace, the toolbar will be on the left-hand side of the screen in this small rectangle. By default, not all tools will be shown here, so often users think that a tool has been removed from the program completely. However, you can access these tools or add them back to the Tools toolbar by clicking on the Quick Customize Plus icon. Then, just select any tools you wish to add to the Tools toolbar. The Sea to Sky workspace introduced in PaintShop Pro 2021 Ultimate also has a simplified version of the Tools toolbar along the bottom of the screen. These tools and specialized presets are designed to make corrections and enhancements on drone and underwater photos. For the remainder of this tutorial, let's go back to the complete workspace. You can show or hide the Tools Toolbar by going to View, Toolbars, then Tools. Or by right-clicking on a blank area in the interface and selecting Toolbars, then Tools. The workspace includes toolbars with buttons that are useful for performing common tasks. Some tools are on their own, for example the Dropper tool, whereas other tools are in groups. A tool group is indicated by the small flyout arrow here. For example, if we click on the arrow beside the selection tool, you'll see all the other selection tools available within the group. When you position the pointer over a button, its name appears in a tooltip, and the status bar displays additional information about the command. For example, if I hover my pointer over this button on the toolbar, it will tell me that this is the makeover tool. In the status bar below, it tells me additional information that this tool is used to improve facial characteristics. We can also click on the Help tab and enable the Learning Center. When we click on a tool button, the Learning Center provides detailed advice on how to use the tool. Additionally, you can see the Tool Options palette located above our image. Note that the tool options in this palette change depending on which tool we have selected. For example, if we select the Eraser tool, you'll see the Tool Palette has options to change the eraser shape, size, and so forth. Whereas, if we click on the Text tool, the Tool Palette gives us a whole new set of options to change the font type, color, and so forth. You can also dock, float, and move the toolbars to customize your workspace. To float a toolbar, place the pointer over the toolbar's handle. The pointer will become a four-sided mover icon. Then drag the toolbar away from the workspace edge, and you can place it wherever you like. Once you have floated the toolbar, you can hover your mouse over the edge of the toolbar and click and drag the toolbar to resize it. To dock the toolbar, drag the toolbar to one edge of the workspace and the toolbar will snap into place. Alternatively, you can dock the toolbar by double-clicking its title bar. You can also make some customizations to the toolbar. If you want to change the icon size of the tools, go to User Interface, then Icon Size. And here you can set the size of the icons to small, medium, or large. If you wish to show or hide different tools, click on the Quick Customize Plus icon at the bottom of the toolbar. Here you can select or deselect any tools you want added in the toolbar. 
you can also select Reset Toolbar to set the toolbar back to its default settings. It's just that simple to customize your workspace and tools toolbar so you can get started creating and editing images with PaintShop Pro. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.